Ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic day for some extras. This is a fullback specific training session. Let's hop into it. And of course, if you know me, you know that I'm wearing my favorite boot of all time, the Hypervenom Phantom 3. This one is particular, the DF model. I wear these pretty often, so yeah, amazing boots. Also, if you guys haven't, uh, I didn't say this in any previous video, but I'm wearing a whoop strap now. Um, it's really helpful for sleep tracking and for tracking strain and stuff. So those are things that I really enjoy about it. Um, I'm gonna start an activity and we'll touch bases at the end of the activity, uh, i.e. this training session. Uh, so I can share with you kind of like what strain looks like, especially with doing like extra work and stuff. So here we go, calibrating 114 beats per minute. I'm in the middle of the warm up, so we'll start it now. Here we go, three, two, one, and we roll. can do for your first touch and working on very like game specific stuff while you're by yourself find some benches flip them over or if you have a partner even better you can do this just fundamental 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 drills that really help once we get into the more game specific one two crossing type drills that we'll get into later in the video All right, so next drill, the idea is to have a one-two, basically getting off the bench. You guys will see it on drone footage and some of the other footage that I'll have coming out. So right here, you've got the, uh, the bench. So I play off the bench, dribble through those cones over there. So beat a player, and then I've got a bench here, and then we're set up for a 1v1 there, and then I've got the net there. So it's gonna be basically like I'm receiving a ball, dribbling 1v1, playing a 1-2, into another 1v1, into uh, into the goal. So it's gonna be like a Joao Cancelo type situation. So let's get after it.
for these ones, always keep in mind quality over quantity. So I'm walking back between reps, especially when it's a long one like this. And I'm always making sure that everything that I'm doing is super, super quality. And then you get into longer quantities when you have fitness stuff, if you wanna do fitness, but today is an extra one. So I'm just doing stuff that's gonna really help me positionally specific for being an outside back. So, so far, activity strain has been 6.3. The highest you wanna go, especially, well, at least on the Whoop app, the highest you can go is 21. So 6.3 is relatively low. Um, I've been at it for just over 30 minutes now. So it's uh, really, really good to make sure that I'm getting the proper rest and recovery while also sort of balancing fitness gains and stuff as well so that's something to keep in mind when you are training if you do have a watch that tracks that stuff or if you have a whoop band or whatever you use or just the feeling that you have it's really important to make sure that you're not going super hard one day super hard another day back to back to back to back i went really hard yesterday and uh so i'm just again today getting my getting my feet under me with the extra sessions making sure that i'm not overdoing it so 6.3 all good things all right fam so Last little set here, all we're gonna be doing is bouncing off one of those little benches and getting a quick cross in. And the idea behind that is to make sure that we're getting super, super quick releases out of our feet um, and making sure that the crosses are really accurate in the air. I'm gonna try to hit this net right here as well. So that's the idea for this next one. That just about concludes this little extra session. I'm going to get a good stretch in and head to the gym, get some upper body lifts in. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, if you enjoyed this type of content, so very like position specific based stuff, as you guys saw, I basically did one drill for the entire session. And that's something that I think a lot of people, it's, it's a very underrated thing to do, is do the same basic drill and then tweak it just a little bit. You guys saw when I was at Two Habs in Australia, we used to do like a box drill and passing patterns against the wall to make it super game realistic. And we used to do that for an entire hour. This is very similar. I'm, uh, I'll show you guys the whoop in just a second, but as I'm wrapping up here, I just wanted to say how important it was to understand that it's okay to do the uh, the same drill over and over and over again, especially when it's really game realistic. For me, it's all about getting good movement off the ball, crossing the ball, getting really good service into the box so that strikers, wingers, number 10, number eight can finish really effectively. So that's really where my focus has been in the last probably month or two as an attacking fullback, just making sure that all of my stuff is in order so that I have uh, good opportunities to 
give good service and good assists to the forwards because our strikers are very, very good. So that's something that I want to keep in mind as well. Um, but yeah, so we'll check in with the whoop in just a sec and I'll end the video there. So give me one sec. All right, so whoop score is a strain of 8.4. Resting heart rate, or heart rate right now is about 98 and average heart rate is 114 during this entire workout. Max heart rate was 154. So pretty great for a little bit of cardio, but not really focused on the cardio piece of it. Um, and then that's my average heart rate right there. And uh, yeah, pretty good, 340 calories or whatever, which doesn't really matter to me that much, but it's more about the, the product of what I'm trying to do. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always guys, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.